Hello everyone, welcome back to my Centric campaign. I might cause a few rebellions around here. I'll have everyone who doesn't like me in one location, we can kill them and harvest their organs. What over here, what am I gonna have you do, King? You'll go after that tiny human army. It'll be good training. Eventually I'll want to grab more gold, but for now, I want their organs. We'll gather more and more, and because he's still alive, I get to have 30 more. That worked out pretty well. Okay, we're gonna let you come back to Al Hayik. I'll fight Mash One Finger eventually. Yeah. Right now, he's only in camping and not actually trying to raid my land, so I'm gonna leave him alone. I'm gonna pick up revered stone masonry. Simple stone is afforded more respect than other materials, for from its grain, giant guardians are made, brought to shuddering life by the Lich Priest sorcery. Eventually, that'll give more melee attack, too. Right? Yeah. I do have three Ushapti, so that feels like a very good benefit to have for them. Okay, Prince, I'm going to give you Indomitable Will for plus five to charge, but it's a plus four to leadership. And for you, Nubuset. Actually, your name will be Imhotep. There we go. At level two, I want you to pick up Joff's Incantation of Cursed Blades. You can boost our damage in battle. Now, if I put you into a march stance, would you be able to grab that treasure and come back? Let's find out. 1,200 gold and another level. Great. That worked out for me. There we are. I could use a new right. Not that I need to. Not yet. We do have an enemy army right by me. Would I be able to reach them? Not really, but I can come over here to train up. Let's do that. One king gone, and another location that belongs to me. We're going to occupy it. Later, I'll begin to sack more. The Kepra Guard, their tomb guard. Like the flesh-eating skull-faced beetle, whose name they bear, this dual-wielding elite tomb guard bring a new level of terror to the battlefield. That's really cool. At your level, what am I going to give you? Ah, here we go. In Nehekara, those sworn to serve its rulers do not stay properly dead for long. That would give me more Tomb Guard, which I'm about to recruit over in my capital of Himri. Very good. You'll be fighting a siege battle pretty soon, so why don't we give you that Legion? 43 melee attack, 49 melee defense. They're very strong. And 59 armor, too. Yeah, they'll join me in battle. They're going to be a lot of help. Okay. Do I want more horsemen here? I do not. We'll destroy that building and gain more gold in return. Because I already have very unhappy people in Martek and Bel Aliad, I'll cause two rebellions and beat them both. Then I'll be able to gain more money, or I could let you do it. That is true. You are ready to go out and fight, and I do want you to train. Let's come over here. Yeah. We'll begin to train them up by finding people to fight. A mausoleum tier 3. I would love that right now. But it's all going to wait. Now we can end our turn. The Mortuary Cult learned a lot. They were able to extend Cetra's life beyond its natural span. However, they couldn't stop it completely. They continued to search in vain for a solution, knowing that Cetra wouldn't be happy to hear that he couldn't live forever. They continued to journey around the world, studying all forms of magic and death, and they learned a lot. They were able to use their own arcane knowledge to extend their own life. That way they could keep on working and of course not die. They learned how to preserve a corpse from decay until they could really mummify people efficiently. They even began to experiment with the winds of magic too. They did claim through ritual that they could bridge the gap between the mortal world and the realm of the souls. They believed that it might be possible for a soul to return to life in their body, but it would take many centuries to perfect. Okay, they went after that faction. I'm now in their lands, unfortunately. I could bring all four armies to fight that one rogue army. Then maybe we could win. King Itobam. What a name. Strigo's Empire, you're now gone. Yeah, let's bring you right over here. Right over here. What about you? Are they causing issues here? Let me go look at it. Corruption, difficulty level, taxes, and all that. It looks like 
it's really just due to corruption. We did have vampires over here, and I'm now trying to purge these lands. Last I don't know what you're doing. I could use more campaign movement or an obelisk. Let's come over here. We can go take him out. I still want to be able to replenish, but that can wait. And again, if they rebel, I'll take care of it later. I do have a lot of gold. Let's go spend money in locations where they're fairly developed. Like over here. Zandri makes me a lot. Largely thanks to my gold mine. And we have, what, any trade at all? Eh. Okay, 200 for my mausoleum. Not to mention all of my benefits too. Zandri, I would like for you to make me more. Let's try that out. Coast of Araby, I'm going to upgrade Al Haik, turn it into a mausoleum. That is done too. We're going to bring you down to Martek where you can begin to raid and we can have another rebellion to harvest more organs again. I want to get as many as I can and I want to level up my secondary Tomb Kings. I have three armies total, but they need to become more powerful before I can actually use them in battle on their own. Until then, I would need them probably to all work together to win a battle, but we've won a lot of lands and we've conquered a lot already. We have much more to go after. He's trying to avoid me. But now he should be trapped. He's trying to raid in our lands. And he wasn't able to pass over to the islands to the west. Later, I'll grab that gold. There's a bit of treasure. I feel like they're going to pop out of nowhere and try to take Al Haik, but we'll see. Maybe I'll make it there in time. Yeah, so Setra commanded that his tomb be built to rest in until they could finish their work. As such were laid dying, the cult did promise him a golden paradise. Powerful spells were cast over his corpse and he was embalmed in a great ritual. His pyramid was so bright that it hurt mortal eyes to even look at it. It towered over the city of Himri and was the largest structure made in the kingdom. Yeah, that would be right over here. Okay, where are you, Setra? Time for you to go into battle. What type of map are we looking at right now? A very plain one. Does he? Well, I didn't need to know that. King Ratik. You've got a lot of plain units. You do have a few stalkers, and I'm sure they might do some damage, but the rest of your army is not nearly as powerful. You no longer have Arkin the Black to help you out, and if you do, he's still trying to rebuild his own army. Okay. The idea is to minimize my own battle line. I could just charge in, but that's pretty sloppy. Instead, I want my warriors, my more powerful warriors, to charge in right away. They'll move in like that. I want my fodder to kind of be over here to take a few more hits. We're going to stagger my formation in some weird way. I don't know why, but I feel like I should try it out. I come over here. Tomb Guard, you can come back here and wait. Casket, you can come back here too and wait. Horseman, do whatever you want. You two will be on the front lines for sure. I mean, I do have a Sphinx. Now we may begin. Can you hit any of them? I believe you can. You've got 440 range, indeed. Just hit what you can. I wonder, would I be able to kill any other stalkers if I actually got to strike them? Let's find out. Before they get to me, I'm going to fast forward just so that we can get straight to the battle. Oh, let's go look at my new unit. I forgot all about that. And how could I? And here they are. Oh, they're even cooler. Are they cold? They're shaking. <laughs> anyway, they look great. I dig that a lot. 43, and it's all magical damage, too. No, we're not really doing a lot to them. Let's just go after their normal infantry, then. Yeah, try to kill them. Guard mode for all of my archers. Now, hopefully, they won't just run away whenever my foes disengage. We do have a few dire wolves. I could have our king go after them. I've got a lot that I can do. I come over here. Go get them. Never mind. They're right by me. They're doing some damage. I don't like it. We're leaping into combat. Killing and swiping and thrashing. 
We have a few spearmen to use. Tomb guard are guarding from behind. My casket has 25 kills now. I'm shooting at whoever's coming after me. Good luck with that. Yeah, I want all of you to focus on crypt ghouls. They can do a lot of damage to my lines, but I guess to be fair, they're not going to be here for much longer after my archers get through with them. And look at that. They're dropping. Okay, why don't you go after a few skeleton spearmen? Well, no. I suppose they all do have shields, so never mind. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, just come over here then. Forget it. Just come right over here. Okay, you two. Let's move you back real quick. You went after my horsemen. Okay. Very well. That's what you want to do. You know what? I'm going to try to get all of these units to go after their stalkers, or I could ignore them and just take the hits for now. Yeah, that's fair. All right, let's go. Charge in. Charge in. And charge in over here. One more of you will move over here to help out. I want you two to dive in right now. Oh, yeah, just dive in. Completely so. Just go in there. Go buff up my Kepra guard. I'm going to give him more damage, too. I have all that magic to utilize, so we might as well use it now. Let's go look at that real quick. Oh, yeah. They're dealing more damage, all right. 22 destroyed already. Stalkers, I'm not worried about. I'm still hitting more of them. I've got my skeleton spearmen back here to help guard. My warriors will now move in. Worst thing, so you were meant to charge in, too. And now we blow them back. 25 kills right now. My prince is still fighting. He's going after a tomb king. That's pretty deadly, actually. Hold on. Casket, you're done. King, I want you to come over here. Go help out our prince right now. He's taking way too much damage. We're at tier one. We're winning the battle. Stalkers are moving in. Okay. Skeleton spearmen, come over here. Oh, they do have Ushapti. Very well. I'm going to move my own archers now. Just come over here. Yeah. You'll go after the skeleton horsemen. You're still fighting a bunch of dire wolves. You're actually getting a fair amount of kills. Good for them. Keep on fighting. My little legion over here always gets a lot of kills, man. They tear through everyone they fight. It's amazing. Okay. I don't want any of you bothering me, so come over here now. I really need you to come over here, though, to help out. Come on. He really needs help. So go try that out. Go take out the skeleton warriors now. We shopped here moving away. I've got more spearmen moving towards them. I've got some archers who have taken a lot of damage. You know what? I've changed my mind, actually. Go attack over here. Cetra. I need you to follow him. I don't need you to, to like wait behind and not do anything. I just need you to go after them. Okay, Tomb Guard, come over here and get the stalkers too. They're tough, sure, don't get me wrong. But they're not meant to be in a battle for that long, I believe. They're just meant to kind of weave in and out. 68 destroyed now. Oh, sure, I'll have to patch up, but that'll be another army destroyed. Yeah, they're all falling apart. I didn't give you Ushapti, but you got a lot of elite legions. Legions of Legend, who can do so much damage, and now we're just watching him fight and cut through everyone in his battle. Good work. Destroy that king. Make sure he's gone. I don't want him here anymore. Who wants him here? Not me. Who needs help? You need help? Sure, I'll help you out. I want to do more damage, though. 588 now. Yeah, I want all of you to attack right over here. Get their skeleton spearmen. Go kill them now. The stalkers are falling apart. They're done for. I have more elite spearmen who can move into battle. My Kepra guard has killed nearly 200 now. I think they're being hit from behind just a wee bit. Archers, I believe you're done. What about my casket? You two. I don't trust you to not kill us all. Or why don't you go after that group? There's 24 of them left. Again, you're still going after their leader. I think they're all falling apart now. Well, good. I need some magic and kill more of them. Good work, Prince. You'll keep on going. Yeah, whenever they're surrounded by a bunch of their minions, man, we just begin to cut through all of them. He's got over... Or that one group has over 200 kills. And the battle is won. The battle is over now. Another king slain. Or maybe wounded. Hopefully dead. Yep, he's only wounded. That's a shame. But it is a decisive victory. The day is won. We lost how many? 375. They lost 2,577. So whatever I lost is really marginal. It's such a paltry sum that it will not impact my plans. It's not like we have to go back and recruit and rebuild everything. No, we're okay. We're mighty and powerful. Which means I'm not giving up. Okay, harvest organs now or replenish. I think for now I want to replenish. I want to be able to get back into the fight quickly. So we're going to do that. I now have one ogre blade. 
The Ogre Blade was used by Chaos Dwarves to tame the kingdoms amongst the Mountains of Morn. How it came to the Old World is a mystery. Plus 8% to weapon strength, a good attacker, plus 5 to leadership whenever attacking, and plus 20% to my leadership aura size whenever I attack. I wonder, could I get you to go after that treasure, then go... That might be a bit of a stretch. Yeah. All of true silver, plus 8 to melee defense and melee attack, and 1,000 gold. Great. I can't get you on land, but that's okay. That should do it, though. I think we have it. Okay, you're level 12. I could give you a steed, but that will wait. I'm going to give you Tomb Strike instead. He whose will transcends death could strike out from beyond the grave to devastating effect for plus 26 to melee attack and plus 25% to weapon damage and can cause terror. And over here, we're going to begin to raid. If you want to be unhappy, sure, I'm going to let you be unhappy, but I'm going to make sure that we kill you in one great battle. Again, we're trying to train up our agents and our kings, too. Here you go, Conqueror. All kind of giving them the same things. Doesn't really change up too much. I do need a Lich Priest in each army, or maybe even a Necrotect would work out. I get to give you Conqueror as well. They should rebel soon. That's a good thing for me. Adeline Mountains, Martech. Nope, not worried about you. I'm just trying to build up in a few locations. I mean, I can only get a tier 3 building here. I will later replace it. I don't need to yet. I could destroy that, but I need it for now for public order. I could build it over in Zandri later. Do they have any goods? They do have goods, so I will change that. But then again, I believe I have pottery. Let me look at it. Do I not need... Hold on. Is that my only location where I have pottery? That's a good question. I want to go find out. Let me go look. Okay. You have spices, not pottery. I just wonder if I actually need to build the building to claim it. Iron, golden idols, what about over here? No, I don't even have a building for it over here, so maybe I don't actually need to build those buildings to use it for crafting. Yeah, that might be the case, man. That could be the case for sure. Armor, what do we have for armor? Oh, right here. That's actually really good. 10 armor, 6 melee defense, and 5% physical resistance, but again, Still waiting for more jars. I'm trying to find a better stream to get jars. If you're not helping me make more money, you can go away right now. There's Adeline again. That's Martech. They're very unhappy. So we're going to wait until we unite a few more locations. I'd like to keep my gold up. You don't need to move right now. It's in their turn. Oh, yeah. If I didn't mention it, maybe I did. I can't remember, but... Every legion that served Setra was buried with him, even his most loyal servant too, Nakov, which was his personal champion. Could you imagine that? You fought so well, and then bam, you're like, oh, by the way, you get to die now. But they're that loyal. That's pretty wild to think about. Not a culture about personal will and all that. It's about conquering and getting ahead and becoming more powerful and all of that fun stuff. All right. What do we look at now? His rebellion, imminent. Re okay, raiding. We have one enemy army now. Great. Let's go after them. Oh, I didn't actually mean to move that far, but I did. I'm gonna let you raid for one more turn. At least they'll be a little bit bigger. I wonder if they'll go after Bel Aliad. We do have pretty good defenses there, so maybe they will, maybe they won't. I'm really not too sure. Okay, I'm trying to patch up. Let's come back over here. I could just recruit a new Skeleton Warrior group. That's true. I'll get rid of you two then. Uh, pardon me. Maybe it shouldn't be highlighted. That was a little bit misleading. So we can get Tomb Guard now. Oh man, Tomb Guard already. I don't want to use Global Recruitment for that. So instead I'm going to opt to... Get two more Spearmen in his own army. It's very powerful. He doesn't need like every elite unit. My other armies probably do need them. I'll begin to rebuild them a little bit more later. Like King Hatmas will need more. He's level three. I'm gonna give him. Let me look at it real quick. Passage to the Soul Realm. I'm not too worried about making him mighty in combat. Not until later. Okay, public order is fine again, only because I have that one building there. If I didn't have that one building there, it wouldn't be fine. It wouldn't be okay. Okay, I've built that now. 
and I'm happy about it. One more turn for Xandria. I think I would rather build in Xandria. Now we can end our turn again. If only I could find a way. I guess my way would be to potentially fight the enemies of people that I want to ally. The Vampire Counts are now fighting the Board of Princes. If they begin to spread, I'll have to kill them. In my Ark in the Black campaign, I'll be their friends, but unfortunately there are no Manfredian vampires out there. No Von Karsteins to worry about. But in here, yeah. The Greybeards, for some reason, are fighting the Dwarves and the Border Princes. I have no clue why they hate them. That's a weird thing, but... Maybe they lost it while out here. The heat probably made them go crazy. I don't know. Very good. And guess what now? I get your body parts. Thank you. That's what I wanted. Okay. Now it's time for you to die. And that's what I'm talking about. If you want to know why I don't always auto resolve, at times I'll lose units like that. But let's go over here and get their organs too. I'm at 354 and they're all stronger. Come over here to patch up. I'm going to give you one carrion. And what about you? Oh, they're still alive? Okay. We beat him again and 30 more jars. So now we're at 384. Another Valley Necrotech to make buildings cheaper. I could keep like one king in one location and just have him wander around. Or if I could give it to an agent, that would be fine too. Level 9. You're not getting a chariot lit yet. Later, you're getting a War Sphinx. Yeah, that will change it all up for me. Here we go. Reanimate or... Nope, I want my Ushabti to be better. So you're going to have that. Now they have more melee defense and more melee attack and more leadership too. My Ushabti are quite mighty. I could get a new casket of souls and those are great. I think I might wait until I get a new king though. I could get Wakoff. That is true. I would like to train him up more than anyone else. You're going to be my backup king, but that's a good idea. So what I'm going to do then, I'm gonna pick you up. I'm going to come over. Yeah, I'm going to come over here and get that right going. So now that we've done that in one turn, we can get that king to come join us in battle. I'll need to give him more archers. Okay, Prince, what will I give you? Conqueror, rank 2. To deal more damage. And Imhotep, at rank 3, I'm going to give you an incantation of protection. 44% of physical damage reduced. That helps out a lot. Okay, I'll have to give your archers over to our new king that we're about to have. I suppose they're all happy now. I'm going to have them go after that one Savage Orc army. Fetch me the green stuff. What now? The green stuff, you say? That would give me salt as a trade good. Sure, I'll take that. And over here. Oh, that's what I truly want. A new pyramid. That's a lot of money. Dear God. I don't know when I'm going to have that much money. I would love to have much that much money right now, but... That will take a bit. Yeah. That will take a bit of time. I could just build a temporary building for now to make more gold. It's only 50 more, so it doesn't really matter too much. I will begin to sack more. I just don't want to sack my own lands here. If I begin to conquer beyond, sure, I can sack whatever I want. I don't care about what they have. Depending on how much I would make from the dwarfs, I could even sack what they have and make a lot of gold. Then I could really begin to work on a new pyramid. That's what I want to save up for in each location back over in my land. Is to get a new pyramid wherever I can. Those benefits are huge. Not to mention, I just want to have them. It's a point of pride. Okay, I need some water. I'm getting all tongue-tied. I feel like I'm actually in the desert right now. I'm actually looking at my Empire and Dwarf campaign right now. Man, those campaigns were a lot of fun. I really did enjoy them. Fighting Tomb Kings as any faction would be a lot of fun, though. Wakhoff of the First Dynasty. He's now here. Wakhoff repelled the Nomads and secured the borders. He is a peerless master of desert warfare. And now we have him. I know you're rank 4. You'll be back later. 
But what am I going to give you? I don't really know what I want to give you. I feel like Sun Scorched Bones is kind of needed if you have cheap armies and you kind of need that. Okay, you don't need either one. Wakaf, take his place right now. And now you're rank four. Here's Route Marcher. I want you to have better archers and later a Skull Catapult. Okay, you two need to meet up. Yeah, just come over here. I want to give you quite a few archers. You can have instead one, two, three. Three of these. Let's trade one. And there we are. Alright, what other locations do I have? I mean, they're still relatively unhappy over here. I could keep on training if I wanted to get them to like level 10 or 14 or whatever. I'm going to increase my proficiency in Nebru's Incantation of Protection. It'll be a bit cheaper and all that. It's just better. Alright, walk off. Come back over here. And for you, come back over here. You two will heal up and later go after Mash One Finger, who's even more powerful. I'm sure he's going to come after me. We're about to have more trade goods. Good. Many of my lands are happy. I can't believe it. Let's go now. Oh, dear God. There's an arc in the black. I'm actually going to need my other armies to come join me. We're about to have a huge battle. And I won't be able to help it. I've got to go fight it out. Okay, that's more replenishment, only 3%. There's not a lot of vampiric corruption here. Well, that's good to know. Yeah, I'm going to have you two come on down. I wanted one of you to get Tomb Guard. You're rank 9. I think I'm going to give you that first. Just come like right over here and you can recruit. I don't know how much I'm going to give up though. We'll see. Anyway. New technology, what do I want to pick up now? 1,000 for a new Tomb Prince, maybe later. Nehekar and Warriors would be more powerful. What about over here? Stronger Tomb Guard. With minor adjustments to everyday incantations, the dead may be made to rise with greater vigor than they ever knew in life. 10% increased weapon strength and plus 10 armor for my Hero Titans and my Tomb Guard. Three turns only. We'll take that. I'll get more heroes later. All right, that will do it. I think we have what we need. Again, I just kind of want to pick up my pyramid. Two jars, more money from trade. The trade that I don't really get to engage in very often. Deliver your message. Oh, come on. <laughs> Talk at me. Well, I'm going to try a little bit more. Hold on. Before I give it all up. I am trading with Border Princes and they do like me. The Empire. Well, good. I've got a lot of trade goods. They should like me. Who loves me? You're beginning to like me, Numas. Can we trade? It's really not a lot. It's why I don't really want to pay him. And what about you? None of them do. All right. Would you like to join me as a vassal? No? Okay. Well, I do not serve, and I'm actually number two in power, which I can't believe, but I guess because I have so many free armies. And a lot of elites too. It's possible. I couldn't have as many elites in any other army. I do like the mechanic of not having to pay upkeep like that. It's pretty cool. It's a little bit more interesting to have like time as a mechanic than just having to pay upkeep all the time. Now the issue is that we have such a large land. Oh, will they all come to fight me? Alright, I'm in a Force March stance. I do not like that. I do want to kill them all. And I think I could. Oh, I can't actually pull back. What about our terrain? I was going to lure them out, but I didn't think they would have two extra armies like that. Or at least two extra lords and a bit of an army. Okay. We're in a lot of trouble, but I think we can figure it out. We're fighting King Rahuta. We're heavily outnumbered. What I am worried about, though, is having a lot of magic arrayed against me. I don't know what they have in their capital. They could have a unique building giving unique abilities. 
which means I'm not going to wait. I'm actually going to charge right in. I don't usually do that, but today I'm going to do that. Okay, you two are going to charge out in the middle. Prince, I want you a little bit behind. Infantry, we're just going to go for it, man. We have to. I don't really see any other alternative right now than just trying to go for it. Okay. Let's keep on looking. Infantry is ready. Yeah. It's pretty blocky. I don't really like that, but we're doing it. Here we go. I'm going to fast forward as we try to charge right in. You know what? I want you two to charge in alone. It's pretty daring, pretty wild. I wouldn't advise it, but it's what we're going to do right now because we're fighting nearly 4,000 enemies and I don't know, again, what they have. Right now, they're using one ability pretty far off from me to where I can't actually cast any magic and not to mention we're drained. We're not even doing well. We're pretty tired. If we could be tired or at the very least, the magic that we have is, oh, what is that? Oh my God. That's a very powerful ability. Check it out. I'm really glad we're moving, but I took a lot of damage from that already. Okay, Casket of Souls, you do what you need to do. I'm coming in now. Let's go. You two have got to try to really wrap them up. That's my job today is to wrap up some fools. I'd love to go after Ark in the Black. I feel like he's the one casting all the powerful spells. I mean, I don't know what he has right now, but I want that guy dead. Let's try to get him. The rest of you, again, can just kind of move in. However you need to. I'm going to leave some of you back here, I suppose. Tim Guard, I don't know what you're going to do. Yeah, come over here. They have Ushabti. I don't want Ushabti coming after me. Bring in the spears now. I just want all of you to go charge in before they begin to use any damaging attacks on me. That's really what I'm worried about. All those damaging attacks hitting me right now? No way. I don't want it. Not for me, sir. What's over here? More horsemen. Dear God, that's a lot of horsemen. Let's go look at what's happening right now. You two are still fighting. I'm going to use my Wrath of Petra. Done. Let's decrease his own damage now. My casket is still attacking too. Only 30 kills. Come on now. You can do better than that. Try to hit over here. Or actually over here. My warriors are now charging in, attacking whatever they need to. Oh, they're actually getting my archers there. Let's try to move back and get these horsemen. My tomb guard did not make it in time. That's unfortunate. Let's hit whatever we can. Because again, their numbers are immense and I don't know what's going to happen. I'll try my best and forget the rest. But right now, we just need to go. Tomb strike time. I love to do more damage. Let's try it out. I think maybe we can do enough damage to really get them. I think I'm going to distract enough of them to keep things busy. But I can't guarantee that. Let's go after some skeleton warriors and try to beat them. What about all of you? Could hit the ones back here. I suppose we could. Yeah, that's fair. I think maybe if we get Ark into black, as I said, we'll be all right. But he's not dying. I don't know where he went. Is that him? No, a Necrotech. Did he move? I guess he moved or maybe he's still over there somewhere. All right, reduce your own damage again. Come over here, get the Ushabti. They're no joke. Tomb Guard, keep on going. My poor archers, I need you to move now. Get out of there. Spearman, you'll move up and go attack. Here, move up. Come on. You got it. Oh, they brought in some more Ushabti. Uh-oh, hold on. We got to move now. Their spells are insane. Look at the damage. Dear God. What's it called? Tomb Swarm. Oh, no. They eradicated my archer, so if we're stationary, we're just going to end up losing a lot of our units. Yeah, keep on attacking. The Kefra Guard are doing a great job. They're attacking a lot of things right now. Our prince is still trying to fight. That's good. Casket, I know you're doing your thing right now. Ushapti, you're destroying everyone. Lovely. Try it again. Blast them back. Good work. Yeah, go after that Necrotect or whoever you want, really. Just go get them. Yeah, together we're fighting. Together we have a shot. If I had waited back there, and if they can cast their spells wherever they want, I would have died. I think the only reason right now that I might be able to win is that I'm charging ahead and attacking. Look at that magic. It's just present. It won't go away. Come over here and help out a little bit. We're a little bit weak on this flank. I'm trying to reinforce my flanks a little bit where I'm able to. Archers, I just want you to move. Here we go. Keep on attacking. And over here. And back here. Just keep on moving. Prince, I know you're having a very hard time. I'm going to debuff all of them. Ark in the Black came up. No wonder. 
Let's try to move away real quick. One man, get away. I don't want you dying. I'm going to keep mitigating your own damage because you're actually getting rid of one hero and later maybe even one Tomb King. You're very strong and I want you to keep on going. Let's go into slow motion real quick as we watch the battle play out. So I charged ahead. The only thing keeping me together is that I have a lot of legions of legend and I'm fighting very cheap units and maybe I've been able to prevent some of that spell casting from going on because Ark in the Black is terrifying. His magic is supreme. I don't want to fight that guy again. I hope we beat him pretty soon so that we don't have to bother with him anymore. Okay, Casket, come hit over here. I want you to hit right over here. We need help. A lot of help. I've got Spearmen in. We're trying their best, but I don't know if that will be enough. We've got more enemies over here. Try to hit some Ushabti. There's 15 left. I can try to get all of them to hit them. That would be great. Anyway, go in. Casket, you do your job. What about you? You're still fighting? Yeah, take out the Necrotex or come over here and beat him. You're still fighting too. Oh, you nearly have him. Great. Take him out. Oh. Did we finally get rid of him? Please tell me. No, not quite. He's crumbling. We could just go back to the front lines and do a lot of damage. I think I'm going to end up doing that right now. Let's go. Come on. Let's go right now. Uh-oh. We've got some more horsemen. They're going to crumble. Let's go get them again. The Kepra Guard are not losing, though. They're doing a great job. They've killed nearly 200. Basic units are not a threat, but that magic is a threat. And again, it's destroying all of my units. I can't just easily disengage. I wonder if it'll hit their own. I don't know. I hope it does, but I don't know. Those Ushabti are going away. Great. I have my own Ushabti. Let's go look at where I want to bring it. Let's come over here now. Who's really losing? You're really losing over here, so I'm going to bring you in right now from behind. Let's bring you over here into the front lines, and you too. Just come over here. Let's go. Ushabti, you're going to help me out. I'm going to need some bigger constructs to help me out in future battles. Hey, man, if you want to beat them, then go beat them. I'm all down for that. As for you, I know that you're having an awful time fighting Ark in the Black, who is defeating everyone. I think I've done enough damage over there to really give him a bad time. Let's go fight some more Skeleton Warriors. Tomb Strike for you. Archers are still fighting. Skeleton Warriors, go charge in. I've only got a few of you left. I could use an incantation. I'm not going to do that. Here, use your ability. Blow him back. Now go beat him. Kimrian War Sphinx, I know you're over here just charging in. Archers, you're not going to be able to do too much. I'm losing one Legion. They'll be back in like 10 turns. So I'm going to need some new units. I'll probably use my Tomb Guard or something like that. I don't know what I'll use exactly. The Kepra Guard, I need to put him right in the middle. The other issue is that when you have so many enemies, you can't just have a tight formation. They'll just wrap around you. And again, that magic would have destroyed my entire army. I would have lost one entire army if I had just put everyone all together. I'm going to focus over here and try to kill these Crypt Ghouls off. That's what I want. I want to try to... Or even over here, actually. That would be great. Tomb Prince. Come on, you can do it. Let's increase your own damage right now. You're fighting a Tomb King. Oh, two of them. I forgot. There were two of them. No wonder we're having an awful time. Get away from them. Come on. Let's go. Let's go right now. You have a War Sphinx. You've got things to fight with. 310 kills, only 310 kills. That could have been much more if they were all grouped up. My Kepra Guard. Are you having to fight Arkin? I hope not. My Assyrian Legion's gone, but we're beating a lot of them. Let's go. Come on. Team Prince, I think you got it. So we finally won over here. Let's try to reform and then go back out to attack. You can move back. You can move back. These archers are not done yet. They're going to keep on attacking. Come, leader. Let's get over here. How about your own War Sphinx? We've killed hundreds of them, but we're just not done. Okay, I'm going to decrease his own damage. Or actually, who's fighting fervently? There's 41 of you left. I'm going to help you out. Get for guard. Go into combat. Let them try to take him out. I think they're all falling apart now. So maybe we won just by wearing out their entire force. I don't know yet. We'll see pretty soon. Come over here and fight them. I need all of you to come over here now. We're going to just kind of get into it like that. So a lot of you left. Spearmen are falling apart. And what about you? Ark in the Black? 90 kills! Man, he's tough. I want to use magic on him. Now he's only using Spirit Leech. That's when you know he's in big trouble. Running low on magic. You can hear my incantation. But look at his solid line here. We've fought all over. 
I'm pretty bloodied. Well, not bloodied up, but I'm pretty damaged. I'm going to have to take a turn or two or three or four to rebuild my army. I'll need to use global recruitment to get some tomb guards over here. Tomb guards would have changed that battle up, but I certainly am glad that we're getting him out of the way now because we need him gone. I don't want to fight him anymore. Kepra guard, let's go. There's two other kings to kill. Let's go get them. What are you using again? It better not be more magic. Leave it alone. Now, Ark into Black is falling. It took long enough, but we're going to put him in his place right now. He's like, oh crap. <laughs> and he's down. Yeah, there's one Tomb King. Just go fight him. I don't know what you'll do yet. 191 kills, 260, 111 for you, one lord wounded. I'm losing some more, they're just beginning to crumble. If I didn't have my war sphinxes, man, it would all be over. Cetra has 273, my other war sphinx, 285. They're all wounded and the battle is won. A Pyrrhic victory. We're going to have to move back and try to repair our army. Cetra the Imperishable. King Rahotep, well he's done his part. He's lost the battle for me. Cetra won. Over 3,000 undead. Oh boy. Don't want to do that again. Okay, I have jars. I just want to replenish now. We took care of so many of them. But I lost a lot. I lost plenty. If I had my other armies here, then, well, I wouldn't be worried about getting to their settlement, but I'm not going to be able to take out their defenses right away. Oh, I know that he's waiting for me to leave, for me to just lose my defenses. He'll be able to take El Haik. I'm going to bring down my armies and finally take care of Ark in the Black. The Troll Skulls are currently fighting the Border Princes, and we are done. I want to thank all of you for watching. Leave a like and comment down below, and as always, until then.